I'm so excited to meet an old school friend who is now a top deaf athlete in the UK. Hi! Hey! Hey! I've been training really hard. I'm competing in the 100 meter sprint, long jump and triple jump, which I won three years in a row. This year, the Deaf European Championships was in Poland. You are involved in a lot of other sport. But before we continue, where were you born and what happened there? I was born in the Congo. The school was not good. There was a lot of unrest, like houses being burnt down, etc. For our own safety, we moved to South Africa. When you are here, what memories come back to you? I remembered running around this field, playing soccer with my friends and falling, all the fun times, and I'm happy to be here again. <laughs> Why did you move to England? They have good colleges, good support for deaf people, meaning a better life for me. When I started to learn British Sign Language, I thought the language would be the same. It's completely different. It was hard at first, especially the two-handed alphabet. It took a while to learn, but there's excellent support for learning sign language. I'm first. No, no, I'm first. Wait, I've got an idea. Really? Your tails, I'm heads, okay? No, I'm heads and your tails. Doesn't matter. Of course it does. I told you that I'll beat you. Uh, uh. How did you get involved in athletics? I did do athletics here at St. Vincent, but not so much. I told my teacher in England that I wanted to do athletics. The teacher arranged for me to join the sports group. All of them were hearing athletes, and I was the only deaf athlete there. It was the best. They taught me well, and as time went on, I improved. Now I'm going to compete in the Deaf Olympics. What are you practicing for right now? I'm focusing on improving my time and my running speed. It will help improve my distance in the long jump. I need to improve my distance so that I can win a medal. Tell us about your studies in England. I attended the Braidswood School of the Deaf for two years and learned British English. This helped me enroll into a hair and beauty college. I completed my studies after three years and was the first person to win the Black African Hairdressing Award. I was shocked! There were many superior hairdressers and here I was, winning this award. I was so happy. Why did you come to visit South Africa? I came to visit my sister, whom I haven't seen for six years. At the same time, I'd wanted to come to St. Vincent to see my old friends and teachers. It's exciting and a bit overwhelming. It's like, I'm a kid again. I'm happy to be here. Cool. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> uh, 
You want to go again? No. <laughs> and you? Uh, no, thanks. Why don't we sprint against each other? Good idea. I'll beat you. No way, I'll beat you. <laughs> Ready to lose? No, I'll beat you. We'll see. Get it. Go! <laughs> It's impossible to run that fast. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited because we're going to play games against each other. Where should we start? Over there. No, I want to go there. Oh. Stop it! <laughs> yeah, go, go, go. Uh -huh. What has been your best moment in England? The best moment for me was when I got chosen to compete at the Deaf European Championships in Poland. I wanted since I was a child, a dream come true. Who inspires you in life and why? My role model is Jessica Ennis from England. I want to be like her. She's a strong woman, beautiful, and I can relate to her. I want to be like her. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? coach deaf children because I want them to compete in the Deaf Olympics. It needs to grow. Children need a role model to look up to and strive to be like. I want them to be successful in life. Do you have a message for the viewers? Don't believe something is out of your reach. Like if you want to be an athlete in the Deaf Olympics, you can do anything you want. It doesn't matter if you're deaf or hearing, you can do it. Thank you.